deter them from picking up a uh, Enigma at this point, I think. But maybe they still will. But I think they do kind of want to play that defensive early game, like you said, and just try and get... Because it's going to be hard for them to outlane Invictus Gaming when they have a Lich, a bunch of really tanky heroes that have a fairly good sustain, and then nuke power. They, they, they go look for their timing push. The Nagas aren't thrown in. Like, the Naga, the Brumas from the Centaur into the late game, these Ten guys seconds. are going Ten to seconds. shred apart Vinci Gaming. The only thing which Vici Gaming had in the late Five portion seconds. of the game, which would be a major Remaining. advantage, would be the fact that Nature's Prophet could do split pushing. And um, the Naga Siren basically counters that. The other four heroes would have had a really, really hard time with that. And now, Naga Siren can't do that. And, uh, well... Oh my. <laughs> well, we, th we throw that idea year out the gonna go for or the let's sit back farm up and then go for a timing push they're gonna go for timing ganks and then force out the towers with the prophet and the venomancer so the storm spirit one of the super I, I miss he i really really miss his heroes uh like like storm spirit i don't know if you remember back with uh the last season of ems one fucking and was that actually that yeah, that was last year that was last year that was last year november and uh that was, they were still playing for vg gaming and what they would run is this storm spirit clockwork combination so you had the storm I spirit you had the uh, storm spirit jump in or it was, it was the clockwork hook shot in and then the storm spirit would ulti in and i just snipe out one hero push a tower snipe out one hero push a tower that was that was the method to their madness it was really enjoyable to watch those games. Looks like uh, we're having ourselves and... <laughs> All right. Thirty seconds to battle. The battle begins. Then, uh, quite freely, man. Yeah. All right, I'm in the game now, and uh, it, it seems after a reconnect, we're actually good to go. Which is <laughs> <It's> not surprised. <laughs> well, I, I, I disconnected out. I, I tried to reconnect back in again, and I said, "You've lost connection to the server." I'm just like, "Wait, what? The China, China? Why, why do you, why do you hate me?" Um, but now it seems we're actually 100% fine. So, greetings to everyone inside of Dota TV. If you're watching over on the Cena Cup ticket, it's great to be back. Yeah. Just had to battle the wall of China. All right, so uh, Black, this poor guy, uh, he got he got shut down on his safe lane yesterday. This is actually one of the reasons why uh, VG Gaming ended up losing their big winning streak yesterday. It's because Black safe lane. They actually had uh, an extra supporter back in that game, but he just couldn't find any kind of space to farm up and just got zoned out. He only literally just got his first hit just then. Uh, Lua and Chorn are going to control him up perfectly. They need help down here. FY is trying to zone out the uh, Lich in the mid lane, but that's only going to do so much. Yeah, I think that's kind of an interesting decision to send... I mean, the Scarath had a haste range, so he was trying to get some harass in mid, but it's already a Lich in the mid lane, so you're already subtracting some experience from that, and sending another hero to that mm -hmm. lane, even if he's just helping for a little bit, can really slow your mid laner down. There is one uh, lane I think, which goes well for VG, which is the top yeah, lane. Yeah, for sure. That yeah. lane should be a piece of cake for ISS. The thing is, though, that June has the pulls going for him, so he already pulled one time, and he can just continuously like keep pulling these camps into... 
his creep wave, and even if it stacks the wave, if it's a 1v1, it's not that big a deal, because he can't be in the lane anyways, so he just has to get the extra experience from the jungle. So I think that'll help him a lot. I'm really not as certain about this uh, support Nature's Prophet. I know we had a bit of a beat session over on uh, on the Nature's Prophet just two days ago when he was being played. It was just like, I, you, it's really difficult to understand his role because his jungling capabilities are really, really low. And there was one team called Light Gaming that were using him as a, as a real core support. Sit inside the lane and just attack that way. At least Fenrir is farming up the uh, the lane a little bit. I mean, uh, farming up the, new, the the camps a little bit inside the jungle. But uh, yeah, I'm not as good about this. Oh. Going on by right here. Yep. Concussion. Black Sean, pretty Sean, low, Sean Black can leap up and snag and hold him in position. There's enough ult damage and right click damage coming up from Fenrir. Black oh, also going for a semi body the block there on Luo. The but the radical control ice. ability, so Luo will back up. But first block goes to VG Gaming on this dual off lane of IG. I think they were a little worse centered there because if they play defensively in this lane, I mean, I know they really want to shut down Black's farm, but if they just play a little bit more passively, it's really hard for them to die. I mean, the Jakiro and Nogger are both so tanky already. It, if he wasn't over extended, or even just a little bit, I don't know how he's going to die to those heroes, especially without the Sprout or and with, like without Black having boots or any sort of like a orb of venom or anything like that you can just walk away so these are just a little bit too like greedy there and i guess that's one of the benefits of letting black get shut down early is <laughs> getting into this mindset of like being really aggressive in lane fender just like camping on them now yeah you know he's trying to uh loop himself around the back to get the perfect sprout uh it seems to be a little bit more difficult than he would have anticipated yeah how's, how's the mid lane have tangos still uh, it looks like Tan is having a pretty good time against Storm, which I would imagine would be the case. Like he can walk up and get collapse on him basically any time he goes for a. Oh, he's yeah, actually diving for more. <laughs> yeah, that's what to say. With, with a secondary static remedy, he's being a little bit cautious, and there is still the potential for the vortex as well. Yeah, it would have been really greedy, but he did have six charges on his one, so it just would have been a risky play. If he got a TP rotation, like there's still the Furion, so he knows that guy can come already. It could be really, really dangerous. Not worth the risk when he's already winning the lane so heavily. IG's now turned this into an aggro try lane. So we have a Lich DD on the bottom lane. And Black has no other choice but to pull back. And where's Fenrir heading off to? He's actually going to head off towards the top lane. So now that Ice 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 has uh, three points up at the Plague Wards, they're going to force the team on down the top lane. And this, really, this is the point too when June can't do anything about this. Actually, check out the build from Ice Ice Ice. Not a single point up in the gale. It's three points stink, three points worse. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting thing. Um, I could see why they'd be good. Obviously, a pretty standard build is just taking one point out of sting and putting it into the gale for the extra slow. He's getting rushed down right now. They're coming now. from middle lane. That's the prep up, and Ferrari will take him out. The top lane is also where they managed to catch up to Ice 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 with the double edge. Fenrir trying to help him out, but well, he ends up sprouting through in with the Venomancer. Either way, IG with the first center ulti now claim two kills. That's huge. I mean, obviously you want to try and get a kill like right when center gets six for the... But if you can get two out of it, I mean, <laughs> that's even better. Now Fenrir will just have to do what... Well, Nature's Prophets were meant to do at the very, very start. And that's just farm up up on that top lane. Looks like Ice Ice Iso is going to come straight back. They want this top tower. There was at least one upside about what they've done here. FY is also coming up towards the top. Just by the movement of, uh, of Fenrir to the top lane with Ice Ice Ice, they forced the rotation out from Chorn. So now it was just like the Lich and the Naga Siren on this off lane. I was going to say life would get easier for Black, but... It, it he still really, really can't go into lane, yeah. Because every time he walks up, he's just getting like riptided by the Naga and nuked by the Lich. And he's already pretty low on HP regen because he had such a hard early game against the Jakiro. Fenrir, this may not be the greatest option, man. The Dire story picked up the invi uh, the Invis rune, so they dropped down the Sentry Ward, and then put it in the Whoa. lane. Whoa! <laughs> All right, hold the phone, hold the phone. <laughs> someone check the cable. And someone kick the router, man. Someone kick the router. Yeah, the Fenrir is looking to come in towards this bottom lane. He might have been looking for some kind of sprout, but I don't think they can kill off this offlane Naga. Like, right now, she's level 5. You want to come in close on her, she's gonna... Well, she hasn't actually skilled up her 5th point yet. Uh, but you could just rip tight whoever comes in close. You get the Lich Frost Blast, which is now also sitting... Uh, she's only at level 1. And he's got level 4 now, so it's, it should be a level 2 Frost Blast. 
That's a, that's a lot of quick damage gonna come in the way of any hero. And hero like Nature's Prophet can't really fight against that. He is, he's a pusher, he's a summoner. Like, he has minions that make his money. Yes. Alright, we're back. Yeah. Is uh, IG just give a couple of faces, but VG Gaming just say go again. No, uh, no happy banter between the two teams. There's, they're in their like game mode right now. They're really just trying to stay focused. I understand. Uh, Super has his ult now. So he should be a little safer middle and be able to like he should be able to farm a little more aggressively. But he's still kind of in danger. If he wastes too much mana, he can actually just get run down by the panda. Well. At the same time, though, like we should keep in mind that when Fenrir hits level six, his potential for killing is on air. I do add a wrath of nature as well as a potential for popping to TP in. And Super's hold. Okay, Ferrari just said screw it. Like he's just forcing him completely back out of the lane. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. With a three-point stronger brawler, of course you're gonna move forward like that. Uh, but I'm just trying to think where the killing potential comes out from VG Gaming. I guess Skyrise made rotating, then maybe you can say that, but currently he's up on top lane and still not level 6. And they're actually going to do something about him. Chuan and, as well as Chispug, they're going to come in behind VG Gaming and search for the opening. And now, well, Tune lets off the Centaur ulti, Hope stop, double edge. Oh, yeah, she held on to it because he wants to use this on nice side size. Especially actually, considering he's so low, he will probably go down in Aegis Prophet's TP in and try and help out. Tune lock of the tree line, so Prophet gets a lot of experience from this, but Chispug will pick up the double kill. The walk back out of here, Fenrir trying to run himself out. Sprouts up, they can't see me. He'll cut his way to freedom. While Chispug, the attack not enough, and Black jumps in with a chrono. He actually has level six up at this point, and Empire back to one living seals up on Chorn. And what looked like it was going to be a triple kill for IG on the top lane, turns around to VG Gaming trading two for three on the off lane. That was huge. I mean, they really needed those levels because like you were saying before that fight happened, I mean, BG really didn't have that much kill potential because they're missing their core abilities. They need Skyrest ult, they need Chronosphere, and they need Nature's Prophet ult to be able to get their kills, and IG was just sort of punishing them because they could just keep taking fights with their early nukes and there's not too much that VG could do about it. Mm -hmm. But now that they have their ultimates from that fight, it's going to be way harder for IG to like bully them as much as they have been. Yeah, like I said, they got all of them during that. The, like the Wrath of Nature, the, the Mystic Flare, everything is up. The fact that Void was even able to come in, so it's it's kind of like the thing in the faceless Void. You always say, ah, oh, you're having yourself a hard time. You're not finding all the CS you're really searching for, but he still managed to find level six before the eight minute mark, which just opened up the map for Vichy Gaming when that happens. Now the Vichy Gaming. Okay, uh, I'm bottom right here. Yeah, I this is wild. <clears throat> it's. It should be easy enough, man. Like, Ice Ice Ice, he has a TP in one second, but they're gonna send her ulti in. The Ice Bar's already been used, he can't TP out because they're still in snare no. possibilities, and Nug asleep. He's trying to get himself into a tree yeah. line area to block it out. I think you just don't think of, like, the smoking potential of a Lich and Jakiro, like you are right saying. Now, uh, IG in mid lane. The Earth Spirit is trying to get close enough at the moment, and there's more support than well. There's a guy with Mage coming in Let's super. He's got one more jump, able to dodge out Ferrari. He's done Ferrari. He dove a long way in for this. They can't just let the Mystic Flare go. The cooldown is only 60 seconds, and it's just very quick kill and gets back to the lane. But Ferrari used his, bl he used his clap, a blink clap split, to initiate on the Storm Spirit, who just ulted himself away while uh, he was splitting. Yeah. That's, he almost got him out of mana, but he just he had too much mana when he used his Pandol, so he was able to kite him for too long. And at that point, if you're going that deep, you're probably trading your life, even if you get the kill, so it's kind of not worth it, because you're using Pandol and your life to chase down the Storm Spirit. And if you're feeding the supports that experience, it's really bad. Um, IG is getting pretty close to like their... A point in the game where they're going to be very strong, though. They have their blink on their panda. Centaur is going to have his blink very soon. They have Lich ult up. They have a level 7 Jakiro. I saw so going to be in trouble again. Oh, yeah. Right, there's, um, there's three yeah. heroes converging on him on the bottom lane. And the Eevee's rune of the Lich is going to really catch him by surprise. He thought he was okay. Ferrari's going to blink down. And now he puts the point up into Gale. He's going to cut through the tree line. He's got to block it up with his plague one. And now they actually can't follow him. Ice, ice, ice. Then turns around. He wants to go the other direction. He can't lock himself in here. But he will waste a lot of time of Invictus Gaming. The Brewmaster will still get the kill. But now they've actually got themselves trapped. The tree is coming from one side. The plague wars trapped them in from the other. They're trying to rip tide their way to freedom while up on top lane. 
Super as well as F1. They're searching for an opening. And Chuan having to get himself a double ice pump. The Mystic Flare going to drop on June, dragging him back. But the back Empire down from Chuan. They have to back up. Not getting the perfect synergy of their abilities right there. But definitely forcing a big reaction from IG. Now Ferrari jumping in middle lane. Fenrir trying to TP out. The Lynch holding those going to cancel the CP and get the kill. So there goes your Fenrir support, Nature's Prophet. As Ice 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 comes to the mid tower, this town's within deny range, and he won't want to let it go. The Plague Wall, in fact, is already starting this attack. Are they going to get the timing? Oh my gosh, that was so close. Dyer's Ten life points in that Plague Wall. Ten life points. Brewmaster Clap and Split. He's going in Ice Ice Ice. Straight into the tower. Ferrari knew he could take this one, and there's no support that can actually help that Ice 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 now. Black will come in. Technically, he could have chronoed onto the Lich, and he wanted to as well, but sent up by the Brewmaster. Fenrir gonna TP in, catches the Lich out inside the Sprout. Support's coming in from Super, but Fenrir's already claimed the kill. And Black was looking for a leap target to chrono, but unable to find one. Ends up being a, uh, a Veno for a Lich, however, is, this, is the trade-off. Oh, Ice 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 is having a rough time. The thing is, he's actually so farm. He's just been creating so much space because he's farming so aggressively and dying for it. I, I mean, a certain amount of that is worth it, but if you feed them too much at such a high level, like, I mean, he's not really a super high level anymore, but just the whole time, obviously, he's a core and he's been pretty high level. It can get bad pretty quickly. We actually have a The first few times it's worth it. At this rate, he could actually go for the Melka Ward. <laughs> Does it count if he's not support? Yeah, it, no. it counts, man. Like, right. it, it actually counts even more because he's playing a Venomancer. But the whole nice. idea is he goes 0-20, and you play the Sacrificial Lamp. That's that's the Melka Ward right there. Now, Black going to walk down. He's going to spot Chuan as well as that bug. But he's going to get a quick Liquid Fire and Frost Blast. But he's fine. He's definitely peeing at the bottom lane. They don't have a Wrath of Nature for the extra damage, but he wants to have a crack at Ubo. There goes your Chrono, the Mystic Flare. The Skywrath Mage arrived just at the right time. So no Naga Sleep to protect him. And Fenrir, he gets a Sprout again. The Tangos are available, though, from Lich to cut his way free, but still a long jump off by Super. That was his entire map for. And the Ice Park from Chorn with Ferrari jumping in. They're taking a huge amount of damage. And June with a blink and a hoop stomp. Brings down Super, brings down Fenrir, now focusing on Black. The backtrack's helping Black to get back behind the tower. Sean's taking a double kill in the meantime, and Black, one second until the lead. And Chon, oh, well, he'll come in. The Centaur did get the double edge, however, so the kill will go to him. But if Victor's Gaming takes a T1 tower on the bottom lane and a very, very convincing fight, even though they do lose their T1 on top. Ice has made me in trouble. Oh, they actually burned Naga Sleep for this. Oh, it's not going to reach him. The Venom Ward, he's in Toggle, or he micro does Venom Ward to hit him. That actually might have saved his life. It would have been really close. I turned, uh, well, actually, what is this normal speed? Because the Venom has moves at 340, and this Naga moves at L370. Yeah, it did. He needed the extra 30 movement speed. How much, how much do you pay for, uh, for good warding? 135 is how much Fenrir just did. He TP'd himself on top of the hill, drops the Observer Ward, and then just uses the TP scroll to get straight back out again. And I that's have no probably the best part. Did. Yeah, that's really nice. That's something you probably, if you, like, when they see the replay afterwards, they're like, okay, that makes so much sense. <laughs> and they'll, like, think about it more often, but, and, I mean, teams still do that. Super is in pretty big trouble here, yeah. That's just, uh, he's, I mean, now that they have these blink daggers, they have to play really defensively, but they want to, like, push and split push really aggressively with their heroes. Mm -hmm. It's just super difficult for them to do so. They need to, like, get to the phase of the game where they have their BKBs or they have enough HP that they can't just get instantly killed like that. And they, you just can't farm like that at this phase of the game. If you are doing that, you have to be bait. I mean, even though they're like giving them these kills and it looks really bad, I would say it'd be okay, but this Naga... <laughs> Blue has just been like farming. He almost has his relic. I mean, he doesn't have the greatest time in the world, but he's also been contributing a lot. And he's been doing it from the off lane. It's not like he had mid or safe lane, and he hasn't even been like faring or anything. It's just standard lane farming. Yeah, he is getting ganked here though. They really, really, really need this skill. Oh, Black's gonna commit the corner to it. The Misty Flare as well. Everything they've got. At the same time, Ice 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 dies again to the Brewmaster jump in split. And there's more support coming in. Super's taken from the tree line. Chuan throws down the Ice Path now. Already the Storm Brilliant's gone down, so he won't, he won't be set up in towards the air. But the Tier 1 tower is under siege by IG. Oh, man. 
Curry has half, or actually more than half. If he gets his tower, so he almost have his axe already. And Chuan has a mech as a uh, support Jakiro at like the time that you see some like really underfarmed support Jakiro's get it. So things are looking up for IG right now, I think. They have really farmed like four a duo of everyone but their Naga, and then they can just sort of create space for their Naga. The key is their Naga needs to, like Lua needs to be really careful about not getting picked off too much. I mean, once he has his Radiance, It'll be way easier for him, and if he has sleep up, obviously it'll be easier because he can just like farm from a much safer distance. But until then, he needs to play pretty defensively. And his teammates, like the, the other way to do that is just by having them create space around the map like they have been. The only problem is VG is like kind of sacrificing mid, or you know, like when they just sacrifice their players in the uh, mid jungle to get that kill on Naga top. So just need to be aware of where. Like the basically just coming in the ultimate, and then the whole um, it was only ever connect over on super, but the lich only still gonna bounce around. Rat the major super has to duck himself further away, and again, he has to give some range. Liquid fire almost burns him out down to 28 life points, and now they're in a really unusual position. Fenrir sprouting up Jim while the ice part from Chuan with the macro fire ensures the kill on the Venomans. The getting dragged back in by super, he had time to bottle up, and now Naga sleep. Catches F, Y, and Super no in mana position. For ice path, They're just gonna go for a... for sure. There's, yeah, there's no mana for Ice Path. They just go for the clamp instead. Super up to the high ground. He's uh, got an Earth Shard on him and it's snared up. But it's gonna be a double kill for Luo. Ferrari gets to go on a dominating spree. And IG take That's... another team fight. Naga just bought her relic and now she almost has Radiance. <laughs> because of that team fight. That's pretty bad. That's. It's looking. I don't know how VG's like you said. It like at the during drafting phase. I don't understand how VG is going to deal with Naga in, into the late game because their whole lineup is like swift pushing and picking people off. But Naga can do that without putting herself at much risk. And that's just one hero in their lineup, and she can almost counter all of VG's lineup by herself. And if she gets really farmed, they won't have the damage to kill her unless they're all out farming her. But they're way behind at this point. Black just has a mask of man. I mean. Yeah, Mask of Madness and like 1400. Uh, Fenrir is a support, so like you can't really get the you know support Nature Prophet as far as you normally see Nature Prophet. Look how hard to Fenrir is trying to battle for vision. Like he TP to the tree line so he can plant the Observer Ward inside the lane while he's still got the other one up on top of the cliff. But IG have like the perfect vision at the moment. Oh, Skyrath, he can throw that one. Seal him up, uh, and says for Aussie, now we can't try to TP out the clap. And uh, no chain frost, it was on cooldown in June. Almost gets there in time, but FY able to bail himself out to safety. And he managed to attract four, in fact, now all five heroes of IG to the top lane. But then again, they could just force out the T1 tower. So it's not really that big of a problem. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're making space for Naga, I don't think they care too much. If they're not dying, then they're happy. Like, VG is in a really good position right now. Stampede is such a good counter to Skyrath. I didn't really think about that during the drafting phase. Like, we talked about how they blocked uh, the pick of Centaur Skyrath for VG, but mm -hmm. Centaur, even though he gets kind of destroyed in the laning phase, if you just have an, an offlane Centaur versus a Skyrath, oh, it's Ferrari actually time. in a kind of awkward he's position. He's sealed up for the moment. Misty Flare still available. Oh, he's well, he's going to Corona it up, and they yeah. will use the Misty Flare. They have to to kill off Ferrari at the oh, moment. And he's almost he got the split off! Whoa, they didn't get the kill, the Naga sleep went. And then Mech charge for the win. Ice 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 is locked inside the tree line. He will go down right now, and I think this might actually be the last ditch effort for VG for Gaming. They're losing too many heroes. Ferrari is a double kill, killing the Nature's Prophet. He's back to his normal self, jumps up, triggers the regeneration rune. It's gonna get cancelled up by FY, throws more orb damage at him. But they still take the T1 tower, they take three heroes. And they're losing too many fights here, VG Gaming. This this like, can't continue, or else they will never get their items required to fight IG. Yeah, I, the thing is, they can't really not fight them. <laughs> if they just like let the Naga farm, then they're gonna lose. If they go for ganks, then it's really hard for them to gank really any of the heroes on IG right now. Every it takes like at least two heroes for VG to kill any one of IG's heroes, I think. Maybe except for Lich. But even if you get a pick off on Lich, it's not you know the end of and the even world. It's not guaranteed. Like up on top lane just then, the Naga, Naga let the sleep off, and a board time for Chuan to walk down the lane. Super in trouble. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, Frost blast will kill him off by the Lich. While at the same time, FY, he's trying to battle up against Luo. If he could actually take this solo kill, I would give him such props. But now that Ferrari's coming into the lane, it's just not possible. Actually, you know what it is? He got the vision with the Wrath of Nature. Props are given. He did have help, but props are still given. <laughs>
The Naga Siren's on the sideline for 43 seconds. That kill's gonna become really, really hard once he has his uh, Manta, which I'm pretty sure he's gonna get because they have a Storm going Orchid and a uh, Scarath Mage. I think, yeah, even Fender is going Orchid, it looks like. So they're gonna have two Orchids and a Scarath. That's a lot of silences. BKBs would be probably like the next item for most people in IG. And then, like, if VG invests all that gold in just like three silences, or I guess. You know, two sounds that were bought, and then the skill silence. That's just too much for like the BKBs. We'll just counter their whole team instantly, pretty much. They already pretty much countered the whole team. BKB is really good against pretty much every hero on VG. Uh, while we uh, don't have IG killing off VG Gaming, uh, just want to let everybody know uh, the MSI Beat It Global 2014 is currently live as well over on our second Join Dota channel, which is Join Dota Blue. You can find it right here on Twitch TV, where LG Sidek are currently playing up against HGT, and uh, IG will be playing VG Gaming after their Cena Cup Grand Final over there as well. So uh, go support Basekip and uh, tune into the live stream as well. He'll be streaming the MSI Beat It for today. That was hilarious. Black's chain lightning just bounced from right here, like on the hard camp. And uh, who was it? Ferrari, the panda, was standing at like the top of this hill and actually bounced over that far and scouted him out. He was in pretty big trouble there if he didn't see that lightning bounce, I think. Well, Ferrari didn't stop him from having another crack at Black. The bottom tower, though. Now, that's that's getting cracked pretty hard. There's a lot of Plague Wards from the Venomancer trying to hold it out, but as you see, some of them just get taken out by the Naga Siren. So it's one illusion out there, and they do minimal to no damage against her. But the tier 2 tower goes their way. Super looking at the top tier 2 tower. Fenrir is holding back for the moment, trying to build into an Orchid here as an Aegis Prophet. But June wants to jump and almost got the proper hook stuff onto Super. Now he sets up in towards the air. That's the Yule Scepter from Chuan, allowing him to hit the perfect oh. ice bar. Super jumps again and TPs at the same time. No hook stuff available. So Dyer's Super is the way to safety. And f has to walk himself out the old-fashioned way, while Black pushing in towards that Tier 2 tower in the mid. Ferrari coming Ferrari over to him, and Black may decide to grow to him because the Skyrath Mate is coming in, and then, yep, Mystic Flare, Fenrir, he's got no ultimate available, Ferrari, he can't split, the seal is holding him there, June jumping for the Hawks off, Black able to backtrack out one of the attacks at least, but June low on life, Fenrir trying to attack it from the tree line, and then Naga lets the sleep off, FY is on 10 life points, and June tries to get himself out of vision, the Ice Path catches out an early FY, but also Fenrir, Trying to spread himself up and get protection, but just not possible. I think the only thing VG Gaming are holding on to hope for is the fact that when IG come high ground, Black's going to get the perfect chrono, they're going to get a nice quick kill, and then they just push straight back out again. And Super, oh no, again. There's no follow up though, there's no follow up. He's getting liquid fired as well as dual breathed, and that drops him down to half of his life points because he's only got 1k of them. But he does survive. Yeah, I mean, VG can turtle for as long as they want, but I really don't see how they win. They, they don't, I mean, they don't I, win late game. They don't win yeah. late game. If it goes, like, to 80 minutes, and if they weren't so, so behind, Black. I can see how their heroes win. You'll set her up, and a double yeah. ice popped again. Black is going to go down very quickly. No chrono available. Ice 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 to get a nice ulti up, and the Gale gets wafted. The two of them go down, and IG push their advantage even further now. It's 15,000 experience to IG, and almost 10,000 in the net worth advantage as well. And they jump in again. FY getting clamped through Master in the split. The Mystic Flare still went off, but it's not enough to kill a floor. He survives on 200 life points. Super wants one more jump. He's out of mana, and GG yeah, is the, the goal. GG suicide run at them. No, there, was, there was nothing more to be had in this not game. Not had a already. Victory. That's just, uh, that's actually quite brutal, but we can also say the laning just didn't seem to work. The Nature's Prophet never really had enough of a presence. The Naga Siren wasn't shut down enough, and the fact that Black got so little CS, like, you thought maybe a VG Gaming would have this in the bag once they got that.